downtown Miami. SCA we coming in there more. We're finna turn out. Y'all already know what it is going down. I let you boy. Lafayette Beach. You ready? You ready? You gone? What's up y'all? It's Lafayette Beach. It's going down. We downtown Miami. We in the building. We here with my boy Tech and let me holler What's up, at man? You. What's going on man? Tech Beats, um Ivy State. Just produced Saha the Prince's Black History Project. Did probably like 80-95% of that. The uh, producer Tamar Braxton. We out here at SAE. I'm doing Ableton workshops and demo for the beat camp. Make sure y'all come through and check it out if y'all in the area. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we out here. Alright, see that's what I'm talking about, man. And see what I'm telling y'all, a lot of upcoming producers in the building, man, it's going down. Lafayette Beats. Holla at me. Lafayette Beats, we in the building. Beat camp is going down. Y'all holla at your boy, man. Y'all see the crowd. We in here. I let kick drum here. So typically you have two parts to a wave, right? You have two parts to a wave. You have uh, your attack, your transient, which is basically a measure of, I guess, how, how sharply the sound um, the sound kind of, I mean, I guess the right way to say it is how, how quickly the sound enters your ear. So it's how, how sharp does this initial sound here, the first sound you hear on the kick drum, how sharp does that actually... <laughs> <laughs> she got her nails did. You know what I mean? She just did some yoga. <laughs> Feeling good. So now I got her at the right texture. You know what I mean? So now I can do more shit to it. So the next thing that I like to do after that is uh, R-Bass. So R-Bass is uh, a free 
I think it's free. I think it's free with Pro Tools 8 and up, or or I think it might be part of Waves Bundle. I'm not yeah, too it sure. Is. It is, right? Mm -hmm. So our bass, which is a basic uh, sort of bell EQ, for lack of a better description. Um, Stop here at Beach. I already know what it is. We're here in the building. We count going down. We have Miami. We got the building. We don't know it. We don't want to tell the What's going on? My name is Pino. I'm from the London UK and I'm coming into here at Miami Beach. I'm really excited to see my boy Alan for you. Yeah, I already know what it is. It's going down. We're here to learn more, man. It's so many producers out here. It's an opportunity. I let you play, Beats. The uh, one and only Saha the Prince, good music. He is, uh, he produced a few records on Saha's new project history. He's also worked with people like Nelly and a bunch of other people in the music industry. So clapping hands on time for the homie Check Beats. <laughs> Check, we got about, who we at, 433. And I multimedia, so be a lot of different things going on. Tomorrow morning, before we even start this whole thing, we're going to have like a little town meeting in the hallway so I can give everybody the same spiel so everybody knows what's going on tomorrow, all right? Just a little few things about, like he said, I just produced a... <laughs> I just produced a... We've actually been working with Sahada Prince now. I'm like officially like his in-house producer now, slash tour DJ. Um, we uh, the the most recent project is the Black History Project. I don't know if y'all heard that, but if y'all haven't heard it, check that out. And then uh, before that, it was Tamar Braxton's pieces. I uh, produced pieces with Brian Michael Cox on her um, Love and War album. So yeah, man, I've I just been grinding for a minute, man. I've just been fortunate enough to be able to link up with Averson and be able to come through classes. You know, said to spread the knowledge of the software and the hardware. So, um, I want, how many of you guys know what this this view is right here? First of all, let me close this. How many of you guys know what this view is right here? Session view for the guys that's already using Ableton. So, for those who aren't, it's session view. Um, this is basically where I start building beats from. And, and when I got on Ableton, the thing that discouraged me the most about Ableton is I could not figure out this view. The view that I gravitated toward was this view, which is called arrangement view. This view is arrangement view. This is just traditional linear view of approach to producing from left to right, start programming, put your VST on the track, and just start playing. So, to take it back to the session view, I'm going to arrange the view on here because you can't see the push, but I can switch back and forth between those modes here. This is why I do all of my arranging. This is where I build the beats in right here. So I normally start by hitting browse on my push or adding a new track, which gives me the option right here to add an audio track, a MIDI track, or a return track. I already got a MIDI track in there, so I don't need to add it. So I would just go to my browser, and I go to my drums, and I load up a kit that I already have programmed. Let's see. There also comes with another instrument called Sampler. You can load up to 128 sounds into a sampler. You can layer drums and all that stuff inside the sampler. And drum racks is basically just like the drum machine for Ableton. That's the native drum plugin that we use for Ableton. So this works, and I can, you know, matter of fact, let me just start from the top and just clear this out. I don't want you guys to get confused. This is how drum racks look when you first pull it up. It has nothing in it. I can go through these folders and add all of my drums in as I go. So what I'm going to do, since you really know what this folder is, and I can choose all these patterns from right here on push. Everything is set up into 16 parts, and I can go through each octave of sound. I actually get a chance to show you guys push. It's broken down into no mode. It's actually broken down into three different modes. Um, these 16 pads right here, I can hold it up and show you. These 16 pads right here are for my drum sound. All my drums right here, and that's controlled and synced up with the drum rack. These 16 pads over here, these 16 bunch right here, is for me controlling my bar loop. So just by hitting one, I can create one, one bar. So I can extend that bar by pulling down two pads, or four, eight, 12, or 16. 16 bar patterns. So if you guys are wondering what this is going on, <laughs> I don't even know what notes I just put in, but they got a step editor and you can record and you know what I'm saying, for the notes and all the So that's a new feature for Ableton. I can also control the parameters of this piano, get out of normal mode. I got my brother.
brightness, my heart is the compression, the reverb of my heart. going to be in this back side room to my right. So when your block of time is, is, uh, is up, I need you all to kind of hang out back here. We have a volunteer here. Make sure you know exactly when you're going to go in and out. Play one track, about 90 seconds off a snip of a USB drive, and then you'll, uh, the producer will give you feedback. So just understand the format of that. This will be the VIP room. We're going to have sandwiches and snacks and drinks and all kinds of stuff in there. If you had a VIP, chicken fingers, wraps, all kinds of stuff. Vegetables for healthy people like myself. Um, that'll be over here. You have to have a VIP wristband to get in there and eat. Um, that's what you guys paid for. Uh, if you guys want to get the one-on-one -on -one demos with Native Instruments, Ableton, or IKEA Multimedia, they will watch everybody's favorites. Favorites: Alicia Keys, CeeLo, Justin Bieber, uh, John Legend. He's actually leaving tomorrow morning for Hawaii. And he came out here to hang out with us for a few and talk about his projects. Please get up for my man Jack Splash. Uh, clap it up for Jack Splash. Woo! 
Man. This guy is one of the hardest guys in the world to get, even through an email. He's so, so busy, man, but he's here for, uh, for today. I just want to sway a little bit with the right shot. Uh, feel free to take pictures, film, just make sure you hashtag it, uh, Beatcamp MIA, and hit us up at iStander. What's your uh, Twitter or Instagram? Do you have one? Uh, at Sir Jack Splash as well, alright? So, Jack, real quick, man, before we get started with the interview, let these guys know about some of the projects you worked on, some of the names, some of the titles, just so they're familiar with who you are. Um, I've worked most recently. I, I did a joint on Kendrick's album. Uh, I do a lot of work for CeeLo because he's kind of one of the dudes that, that I don't want to say discovered me, but really, um, uh, actually, yeah, come to think of it, he was the first dude that I actually produced for as a producer outside of my own stuff. Um, and it was kind of from working with him to like Alicia Keys and John Legend and uh, Q Tip and a bunch of other people. Like heard some of the stuff that we were doing. We didn't even really put it out yet. Actually, I guess people just either he was playing it for people or right. um, but yeah, actually it's weird because I, I work with a lot of R&B artists, but my background is hip hop. Okay. So um, I think maybe that's, that's probably why I a lot of R&B artists like working with me because I think I approach it from a, even though it sounds like R&B or soul, I'm approaching it from like hip hop. Yeah, like 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 what a hip hop artist would want to sample. Do you know what I mean? So, so we're not just like making radio records for right now. So how Yeah, it's obviously. And actually they wanted one of the joints that I had done CeeLo, but we couldn't give it to them because we were keeping it for his album. So then I had like more pressure. Oh, I gotta come, I gotta come with something crazy. But she was so sweet. You know, she called me and was like, I'm so excited. You know, um, I'm not in like, Five minutes, something like five minutes later. That was like the only session I was, not don't follow my example, because it's one of my worst, it's like always late for things usually. Not on purpose, it's, it's a horrible quality, but I just got it since I was a little kid. Anyway, to that one, I was like half an hour early, of course, you know what I mean? She called me being super sweet, and it brought my whole, it changed everything, because she wasn't coming in with like a superstar, like, yeah, mm -hmm. and so I felt like, oh, this is gonna, it's like my, my home, but we're gonna have fun. This is gonna be like really fun. And that's what it was. And, she, and what's crazy, what I said to her was, I didn't even know until we got there, she's nasty on the MPC, she's such a dope ass producer that I even said to her on that first day, even though it might have been bad for business, I was like, why do you need, like, why am I here? Like, you're so dope. Um, and I didn't even know. Like, because I didn't know all her history, you know, that yeah. most of her big songs also. Well, clap it up for Jack Flash for being here. Now, one of the things that we do when we go to various beat camps in different cities is we do something called the, the I Standard Influence Award. And the reason why we give this award out is because, you know, certain producers may influence a certain sound or influence a certain uh, era of producers to, to work. We've given this award to everybody from DJ Premier and Cool and Dre to DJ Tom to the Justice League, to Large Professor, to just about everybody who's made a difference in this music thing, and we are about to award this to my man Jack Splash. We call this the Legend in the Making Award. This is my friend Jack. We're going to take some uh, quick pictures and uh, ask Sir Jack Splash it. Hashtag is Beatcamp MIA as well. What's your name? Ghost Race, Chandler Ingram. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I, I was gonna say like it looked a lot like it kinda looked like a bell though. Like the um <laughs> Look like it looked like Fruity Loops? No, like the little up there, like where it's right under it says me and Y San Fran. It looks like the uh, playlist. Yeah. Still dope though. <laughs> I, mean, loops, but, you know, I get it. <laughs> I get this. Okay. Now does anybody have Basically, what I was doing was I was um, performing the track, like doing scene changes. So these are different scenes up on top. So when I go through the different scenes, you'll see I'm switching through the scenes. So as I go in here and I press play. <laughs> So 
basically, you can use this as a performance tool as well. So you're not just making. I'm gonna go ahead and see what they got in store. If you ever buy from our website, we can like offer you know discounts right off the bat, or um, we'll double the warranty, offer free accessories and stuff like that. But I specialize also in in for the brands that I'm allowed to to export to um, Latin America without you paying. Latvia and Pete Shard and all that, man. Beat count. Gonna leave and head out. We're gonna go to the other place. I got free beer, so <laughs> I'm gonna drink. But uh. Y'all already know what it is. It's going down, man. Follow me. We're leaving a patty chunk. Lafayette Beach, downtown. Turned up, man. In the MIA. Going hard. Yeah, you all know what it is. I let me. Yeah. As you see downtown Miami, we're on the screw. Finna head to the archives. Just go turn up with some fellow producers and holler at me. Y'all know what it is? Holla at me. I'm 
Everybody's fan. I stand up for my man. Mm -hmm. Anybody understand me? Mm -hmm. This shit was a black American production. And I can say in Spanish. Woo! Black American, American, but you were Eddie. This is a for your feet. I'm so aesthetic. Motherfuckers know I'm a natural medic. Miracle mile for a lot of I'ma give it to you. This is straight TV, my nigga live, baby. Mm -hmm. You already know I rep a real vibe, baby. Mm -hmm. As you know what it's about. Mm -hmm. The real the hill rapping way down south. <laughs> Lafayette Beats, man, we in the building, man. My boy J. Killed the beat, y'all heard it. It's going down, man. We out here, we connecting our standards, Lafayette Beats, artists, upcoming producers. I love it. <laughs> Definitely uh, support the shop. A lot of great stuff in here. I know I'm gonna buy a pair of sneakers in four or five before I leave. Um, my name is Jay Hatch. This is Don Denapoli. This is Candy. Coming in two guns scissors. We are our standard. We are throwing the whole beat camp thing this weekend. We appreciate y'all for coming out. This is so really special because every city we do this at, we try to have a little, you know, fun time. So, you know, we work hard. Uh oh. The mic went out. The mic. There we go. So, like I said, we like to, you know, work hard. We also like to play a little bit too and have some fun and have a couple of drinks. Got a lot of people from across the country, across the world, across the seas. Big yeah. shout out to London. Chris, but uh, he's gonna improv like any professional would. This our homeboy. He's rocking out with us tonight, man. Y'all can have your hands for man, John Hill. Woo! Woo! Great, 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 so we all make beats. Y'all hear me out there? It sounds a little fuzzy. All right. If anything, I roll with it. Yeah. Real pretty. Get your clothes and sheets. Real pretty. I'm just here to let. I'm just out here building network and check my network. It's not a deal. This is Scottish. Last time this was hot. Beats, man. We downtown Miami. I just want to show y'all the hardest working man in the 305 area. Damn right. Y'all already know what it is. No introduction. I'm going to let the man talk to you yourself. You just holler at me. How y'all do? <laughs> give you a shout out. Hey, mom. <laughs> All right. Lafayette so Beats is going down. God bless you. Holler at me. Thank you. <laughs> Have a good night.